Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to my TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This your boy Gold Mouth Shorty. Let me get straight down to business. Hey, man, make sure y'all smash that post notification bell button so you always be in the loop every time I drop a new video. Today, we're finna talk about the feud between Wack 100 and Black Rob Cousin. Now, if you've been listening to Clubhouse lately, you've been seeing them go back and forth, you know what I mean? That boy Wack 100 and this little fan base saying that uh, Black Rob is not a legend. They say he was a crackhead. He died broke. And they was like, Puff Daddy ain't pay that nigga shit. He don't own his masters and everything else. And, you know, his cousin was defending him, saying, man, he wasn't no crackhead. Get your shit together. Stop motherfucking making up lies and shit. The man got a lot of accolades, and you can't take away what he already did in this business. And, you know, Wack 100 was like, fuck it, nigga. If you bought Brillo and you smoke crack, you smoke a glass dick, nigga, you're a crackhead. You know what I mean? You had put out a GoFundMe because you didn't have no more money left. And, you know, I don't really respect that. But every man entitled to their own opinion. But I say, man, keep your nose out of bad boy business because, you know, Puff Daddy knows some real hitters. And, you know... Black Rob was associated with a lot of them Atlanta niggas that mean business, you feel me? So just be careful when you disrespecting the man because he known all up and through the uh, East Coast, the Virginias, and the Carolinas. You know what I mean? That man ain't nothing to be played with. And I want to say R.I.P. to my homeboy, Black Rob, and I know he was a street kid. And you know what I mean? He used to stick up niggas and rob niggas. And when he came out with that song, Whoa, shit, I was all for that nigga from that point on. So I'm always be a fan of his music because he kept it gully. He kept it real. He kept it street. And now this so-called street nigga, Wack 100, want to turn us against another street nigga. I just don't respect that. You know what I mean? There's a lot of room for everybody to get some money in this industry. We don't got to bash each other. We don't even got to say nothing negative about each other. We can't say nothing positive. We don't got to say it at all. Because that man been dead for a little minute. To say that he was broke and he was a crackhead and, you know, he a cokehead. Shit, dog, that ain't our business. Everybody in the public don't need to know that. We want to remember Black Rob at some of his better times. You feel me? We don't want to hear him at his weakest moments when a man on his deathbed. You know what I mean? A lot of them niggas battle with drugs and addiction and getting locked up and stuff after they careers uh, go down hill. But shit, when they was out there, they was making the most of it, making the best out of their situation. So I salute Black Rob. He's still a real nigga, R.I.P. You know, I'm going to still watch some of his videos. I think Wack 100 just out of line, man, especially... If that's really a uh, black rock cousin, you can't disrespect a female like that. And plus a legend. So be ready to deal with the consequences coming your way. Peace, my.